In the last video, I've talked about the many fixes the new JK Inverter BMS firmware has provided us with. What this new firmware did not fix was the drift in state of charge with this inverter BMS if the battery is not fully charged on a regular base. It needs this SOG 100% voltage calibration from time to time. So whenever one cell hits this voltage, it resets to 100% then, yeah? And from there on, it is relatively precise in calculation. But over winter time, you usually don't reach this. Could be three or four months until you fully charge your battery again. And quite frankly, the two JK BMSs here in the battery shelf, they have drifted a lot. So they are probably off like 50% or so. So when I hit the 50-60% set of charge now with the Victron Smart Shunt, these two BMSs show already 100% set of charge, which is of course not true. Okay, so I had a discussion with the software engineer from JK BMS about the drift and he was asking if I have any ideas how we can fix that. So the discussion was about how does JK actually recommend to calibrate the BMS? Because as you know, we can calibrate voltage and also the amps, the current in the JK BMS. And because when they mount and install the shunt in the JK BMS, it can be that this um, plate is not crimped the same way for all BMSs. So therefore, the measurement could be a bit off for each BMS. And you need to calibrate your BMS to make the measurement accurate. And this is exactly why they provide us with this function. And JK recommends the customer needs to have a clamp meter, connects this single battery to a load, measures the current with a clamp meter and sets this current in the BMS. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this is the basic stuff you need to do to calibrate your BMS, but measuring the current with a clamp meter is not very precise, especially not if you have an inverter connected. But I wanna show you what happens when you do that. But um, first of all, welcome back to the off-cut garage here. I'll take the back door. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, uh, yeah, well, it's the um, second last day of winter now and temperatures are far beyond 30 degrees Celsius already. Such a heat wave, unbelievable. And we had like 120 amps outside today. I think we are already negative on charging the vehicle. We're going for a drive tomorrow. We've got negative 12 amps outside, but we are at 44% already, man. So yeah. All right, I am connected to the JKBMS and the Yixiang battery here. We are the app, I've got a clamp meter here and we turn on our inverter, which now will dump all the energy into our battery shelf. Yeah, around uh, 1.8, 1.9 kilowatt. So, and here you can see the problem when we do that. Yeah, the current goes really up and down between 30, 30 and 40 amps back and forward and the same here on the clamp meter it is not really a constant current we are pulling and this is solely because this is not a constant load even i'm charging the vehicle at the moment and this is a fairly resistive load but the inverter is not a resistive load for the battery so why is that well the inverter forms a sine wave on the output right 240 volt sine wave and depending if the sine wave is at its peak or at the zero point, the inverter takes more or less current from your battery. At its peak, it obviously takes more current than at the zero point, where it takes no current at all. And depending when the clamp meter and the JK BMS are measuring, we have this unreliable and very dynamic current. Yeah? So it is impossible to actually pinpoint a certain current and then set this in your JK BMS as a reference current for future measurement. Impossible. But how can we discharge this battery with a constant current and not a sine wave regulated current? Well, the only really option you have is to have a second battery and then parallel them. One battery is probably at 20% state of charge, the other battery is at 80-90% state of charge. One battery charges the other battery 100% DC current. Obviously this current won't be constant either, because one battery is discharging, the other one is charging, and your current in between these batteries will decrease over time. 
But um, let's give this a try and see how it looks like. So the inverter has now turned off and we are recharging the battery with the pool fan solar. You can see 1.1 amp, the BMS says, coming in. And asking the clamp meter, 1.7 amps. So there's quite a bit of a difference, 1.7 to 1.1. But JK has also advised to use a high current as possible. So you cannot actually calibrate your BMS with 1.1 amps. And we type in 1.7 amps. See, it doesn't allow me to type any numbers after the decimal point. Only full numbers. So we need to get the current as high as possible. Yeah. Okay, let's turn off our solar. So the battery is fully isolated now. And now we want to turn on, we are at 53.23 volts and the battery shelf is about at 40%. So it should be fine. So if we parallel these two, we will see a current going from the JK BMS into the battery shelf. So this one shows 24 amps. You can see the current is actually going down. And we have here negative 20. So comparing these two currents, so 20 amps on the clamp meter now, 19 on the um, BMS. And current is going down. And even here we are measuring a bit of a dynamic current because we are still having the multi plus obviously connected to the whole system here. And this is pulling energy directly from the Yish Yang battery now. So again, it is not really a DC current we are pulling from this battery. Well, I think we have to do it. We have to turn off the multi plus for a moment. Everything turns off. We are fully, fully off grid again, <laughs> offline. So, and now the Yixiang battery is in parallel with this battery here. No inverter involved anymore, nothing. And we have 8.7 amps, 8.9, 9 amps, 9 amps and 8.5 the BMS shows, 8.5, see it is really hard, okay, if I set this one now to 9 amps, 9 amps, okay, yeah, we've got 9 amps, we've got 8.5 here, so until I'm ready to type something in, this one shows a different number again, it is really, really hard, and I'm also not sure if we need to put in negative nine. No, we can't put any negative numbers. Okay, um, how about we charge the Yish Yang battery from a power supply with 20 amps? Yeah, let's get the... Um, okay, so I have now set the adjustable power supply to 61 volts and 20 amps. Connected both with the battery terminals, everything else is turned off. No solar charge controller, no inverter. No paralleling to the battery shelf here, nothing. Let's see what happens. Oh. There we go. It says constant 20 amps. The clamp meter claims 19.95 amps, 96 amps. So that is very close to 20 amps. Let's have a look what the JKBMS says. It says 19.2 amps. Okay, so let's go into settings and type in 20. Yeah. 20, 20, 20 amps. Okay. So this is now 20 amps, 20 amps on the BMS, 20 amps on the power supply and 20 amps on the clamp meter. If we go to 21 amps, let's see if this reflects. Yeah, 20.95. We've got 20, 21.1 here. So again, 21. All right, 21 amps. That's a maximum the power supply can deliver. So this is probably the way you have to do it. Because if you connect a load to the battery, it shows a negative current and you cannot calibrate the BMS with a negative current. You can only type in a positive number, but positive number means charging, not discharging. So I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but with the adjustable power supply, we have a constant DC current now going into the battery. And I would say this one is now calibrated to um, 21 amps.
So we are charging the battery now with 21 amps, 21, 21, and the BMS shows 21 as well. What happens if we go down to 10 amps? 10 amps. And there we go. 10 amps here, 10 amps on the clamp meter and 9.5 on the BMS. Okay, 15 amps. 15 amps on the clamp. 15 amps here. And 15, 14.5, 14.9. Five amps. Power supply five, clamp meter five, BMS 4.6. It calibrates only to this specific current you are setting and you are calibrating and everything else will be off again. If you go lower, it will be off. If you go higher, it will be off as well. You cannot really win. All right, guys, I just wanted to pick up this topic again because there were questions arising under the videos and I even received emails from people asking how to calibrate this BMS correctly. So I asked um, JK and they advised, yeah, have the current as high as possible, then measure with a clamp meter and set the current accordingly in the BMS then. But as we have seen, connecting an inverter is not a possible solution because the DC current follows this sine wave creation of the inverter then, jumps up and down. Paralleling to another battery causes issues because the current will constantly decrease. So it seems like connecting a power supply with a high enough current is the only solution at the moment to calibrate these BMSs correctly. If you have come across these issues as well, let us know in the comments down below how have you calibrated your BMS. Doesn't need to be a JK BMS, any other BMSs. How do you calibrate them? What kind of reference DC current are you using to calibrate your BMS? And I am not sure, even JK has recommended to have the current as high as possible. But if we calibrate this BMS with say 80 or 90 amps now, yeah, and then measure a relatively small current with five or six amps only, is the calibration still precise then? Or should I calibrate the BMS depending on how I use the battery? Do I have more larger loads connected usually, so I calibrate it with a high current? Do I usually have only small loads connected, so I calibrate it with a smaller current to be more precise in either direction? Yeah, I'm not sure myself how to handle that and how to calibrate these BMSs correctly, so I'm really keen to read your comments, your thoughts about this. Yeah, so um, please let us know. Oh guys, we've made it. 94,125 subscribers. Thank you so much for your amazing support here, guys. Without all this, this channel wouldn't exist. We wouldn't talk about how to calibrate the BMS correctly. And a very special thanks always goes to the many donors, the people who are becoming a channel member or clicking on the thanks button below. But also, thank you very much to everyone who's leaving comments, who's liking and sharing these videos here. This all makes them possible. Guys, until the next video when we do something potentially completely different again. Hmm, could be. Until then, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Fully calibrated JK BMS now. Will it help with the drift of the state of charge over time? We will find out.